Hello, I am Kishore Patwardhan and uh, today we are going to listen to a lecture on a few of the motivating teaching approaches that are required to be followed while teaching Ayurveda. This lecture is intended at those teachers specifically who teach the new graduate level students of Ayurveda and especially this is for those who teach Kriya Sharir that is human physiology in Ayurveda. Uh, Ayurveda is usually a new, a new subject for those students who enter into graduate level courses. They find Sanskrit to be difficult. They do not understand the practical utility and relevance of several topics such as Tridosha, Prakriti and so on. They find memorizing Sanskrit verses to be difficult and also they find the controversies and unscientific explanations or wrong interpretations and translations uh, confusing. So uh, th there is a need uh, felt among the Ayurvedic teaching fraternity to incorporate some of the innovative teaching methods and rather teaching approaches while teaching Ayurveda. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss three new approaches. First is that Ayurvedic physiology is not different from what modern biology describes. This is first approach. We should emphasize that Ayurvedic physiology is not much different from the modern biology. Second point is that the recent advances in biology too can be traced to Ayurveda. By giving suitable examples, I will be explaining this. And the third approach that I propose is to uh, tell the students that the recent advances in Ayurveda Kriya Sharira promise many future potential contributions to the science. So let us look at the first approach, that is approach one. In uh, 1934, the Nobel Award was given in physiology or medicine to three scientists. George Minot, William Murphy and George Wiffel and they got this prize for developing an effective therapy for pernicious anemia. Together they discovered that feeding patients with liver cured the disease. Wiffel especially induced anemia in dogs by inducing profuse bleeding and he found that when the dogs were fed liver, their hemoglobin levels were restored. Now, after telling this, I propose that we should tell our students that Sushruta also knew this fact. Around uh, Sushruta, who lived uh, around 600 BC, he has documented this very same fact in his compendium called Sushruta Samhita. And he says that Ati Nisruta Raktova Kshaudra Yuktam Pibe Dasrak Yakratva Bhakshayet Ajam Amam Pitta Samayutam. When there is a, a profuse bleeding, one should consume raw goat liver with all its contents. This is what he has described and rather the uh, earlier discoveries that I mentioned by Minot, Whipple and Murphy are actually the rediscovery of what Ayurveda has already described. This is the first approach. The second approach would be to tell the students that uh, the recent advances in modern biology can also be traced to Ayurveda. For example, chronobiology, the circadian and other biorhythms have been recognized to have very important roles in understanding physiology and in planning pharmacological interventions. Uh, there are certain terms such as chronopharmaceutics, chronopharmacodynamics, chronopharmacokinetics and so on and so forth. Again, all this can be traced back to Ayurvedic compendia and uh, uh, the example is from Ashtangradaya where he says that yunjad anannam annadu madhye ante kavalantare grase grase muhu sannam samudgam nishicha aushadham where he describes that while prescribing medicines one has to take into consideration the uh, time factor and which is very very similar to what the modern biology says. The third approach that I would 
be discussing is that to tell our students about the recent advances in Ayurveda that is especially related to pharmaco uh, genomics, uh, the constitutional types that is Prakriti and its correlation with the genes and uh, uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms and so on. This has been recently established in the last few years and again this once again strengthens the concept of Ayurveda and uh, thus uh, by giving these examples and many more, I think we can motivate our students to learn Ayurveda in a better way and to, uh, uh, to take Ayurveda seriously in a long run. Thank you.